Well, Arrow Electronics is a technology company, a technology solutions provider. 80 years ago, we started as a simple distributor of components, and now we've grown into this company that provides solutions from sensor to sunset, from the beginning of the idea for a new device, all the way to its end of life disposition. So that's a much broader portfolio. And CSR for a company like ours needs to demonstrate the power of technology for the benefit of humanity. That's really the purpose of our program. And so we take a project approach by trying to work with innovators to develop new technologies that will help people, uh, specifically uh, to help solve some of the problems in the world that they face. Well, one of the challenges specific to Arrow is that we're so big and we're so broad, literally anything that carries electricity, whether it's a consumer device or an industrial system, we're in it in some way. We work with more than 100,000 customers. So deciding what to do and who to do it with is part of the challenge. There's a lot of problems in the world and technology can be applied in many directions. So we've had to develop our own way of deciding and evaluating what ideas work best for us and then creating specific partnerships between Arrow, nonprofits in that field, uh, our customers and suppliers to develop that solution. And this CSR approach to developing new solutions and technologies for humanitarian benefit has become a metaphor for how we do business. It, these are nonprofit examples of what Arrow does every day for our customers. I work in our Arrow's brand department and that's where our CSR program is located. So everything that we do in CSR fundamentally and primarily is about helping people through technology and elevating and expressing the Arrow brand. Arrow's brand language is we guide today's innovators forward to a better tomorrow. And if you consider that phrase closely, we're not the innovators. We work with the innovators. We find them and we work with them on their ideas and their designs to create something new and beneficial. We're the Sherpas of innovation. We're the guides for those innovators. And so our role is to find them and guide those new technologies forward, in the case of CSR, for humanitarian benefit. So everything we do in CSR fundamentally is about the expression of that brand. Internally, what that does is it helps people within Arrow understand who they are and what they do and who they work for. We are primarily identifying that process for ourselves. Arrow has grown enormously in the past five years since the CSR program started. And in some ways, because we're in 90 countries around the world, our CSR program provides connective tissue throughout Arrow. We're part of that common story that everybody inside the company can understand and share. Even though they might live in a different country, speak a different language, and work in very different aspects of technology. Externally, Arrow is so big and does so many different things that it is similarly hard to understand. You know, a, one customer for Arrow might receive very different sales and services from us than another customer. So how do you understand Arrow from the outside? Our CSR program, what we stand for, the values we express, the projects that we pursue, act as a metaphor for Arrow as a whole. You can understand Arrow and what we do by looking at our CSR program. Well, especially because we take a project approach, it can be risky. Uh, and that's not something that maybe other companies would normally embrace with CSR. It's supposed to do good, feel good, uh, and, and, and make the company better. And, and that doesn't usually include taking risks. New technology is all about the unknown. Innovation is always about doing something that hasn't been done before. It's an iterative process in technology where you build on and you change and you consider and you do it again. 
We take a project approach similarly inside Arrow uh, because it, it really does reflect how we do our business. And so every project has a beginning and it has a result that we have to deliver. And so we have to pick our projects carefully um, and, and we have to make sure that they, they work and we publicly demonstrate them. There's always, there's always a risk to that. Uh, most of our projects have worked, some of them haven't, and, uh, and we learn from our failures and, and we move on. Uh, but I think that embracing a little bit of risk is important, uh, not only because it reflects the true nature of the technology business, but also if you want to make a difference and not just write a check, um, you've got to be willing to try something new and work very hard to make sure that it doesn't fail.